Make sure you fill up when that dinner bell rings because you don't want to miss any classes at the Wild Herb Weekend. Every year we hold this wonderful event called Wild Herb Weekend at the Valley Cruces Conference Center up near Boone, North Carolina. A beautiful, historic, rustic lodge setting for this small event. It's an amazing event. The North Carolina Herb Association has outdone themselves with a lineup of speakers this year. The focus on mycology and having Trad Cotter in sharing all of his tips and tricks for cultivation and creating your own products and extraction techniques for mushrooms. I'm very uh, passionate and excited about sharing what I know and also sitting in and listening to other speakers uh, share their information. You have uh, skilled experts in their field that come from all over the, the U.S. Um, to this beautiful location that is surrounded by trails, there's a waterfall, and the meals are amazing. Um, there's lots of uh, organic food here, which is always important, and, um, and, and the nightlife is good too. <laughs> We are so happy to help the North Carolina Herb Association celebrate their upcoming 30th year here at the Valley Cruces Conference Center. There's actually been an Episcopal presence on this land since 1842. Four out of the five lodging facilities on campus are on the National Historic Register. Currently our land stretches 483 acres, that's over three miles up the mountain. Most of that is under conservation easement in perpetuity. The North Carolina Herb Association is a nonprofit growers association dedicated to educating people about herbs and their uses. Wild Herb Weekend attracts a wide diversity of people, from commercial growers and herbalists to what we term herb enthusiasts, just everyday people who love herbs. It's a blast, so I'll probably be coming here until I'm in a walker. Wild Herb Weekend has a special track running specifically for commercial growers where you can learn how to grow various herbs and also business aspects such as budgeting and how to market on the internet. We also have a trade show where our vendors are set up in several buildings and these are all products grown or made by the vendors themselves. Peaches, cherry pits, anything, anything that you would throw away typically put it in a jar, pour distilled vinegar over the top of it, and let it sit for a few months. Yeah, you can't rub a strawberry seeds off. You can rub snakeberry seeds off. Do you see, this is clover right here, and then this is sorrel. The high country of Western North Carolina has a diverse amount of plants, and even in mid-July is cool enough that there's lots of things blooming. The plant walks are a real joy to participate in. Maybe big to remember seeing dog bane here before, but I've never seen it in such abundance. So that's the barberry. I would, I would say here, catch it, but it's got, got some thorns <laughs> on there. Mark your calendars now for the North Carolina Herb Association Wild Herb Weekend, held every fourth weekend in July. They absolutely ought to come at least once, and once they come, they'll probably be hooked.